In fact, the Citigroup, the company says it will cut 11,000 workers around the world and save more than a billion dollars a year. This move comes after several months of leadership, turmoil and mess and disappointing revenue. Karina Huber has more from New York City. Citigroup's decision to hand 11,000 employees pink slips is the bank's first major move since Chief Executive Michael Corbett took over the reins in October. The majority of the job cuts will take place in its global consumer banking unit. 84 branches, more than half of them in the United States, will be shut down. In Pakistan, Paraguay, Romania, Turkey and Uruguay, it plans to sell or dramatically scale back its consumer lending operations. Charles Ortel conducts research for professional investors. There are a limited number of products you can offer a consumer who's stretched thin already. And it's very high cost to operate inside the U.S. Real estate costs to the branches, insurance, labor, etc. So it's just a very tough business. The decision to cut costs comes at a time when banks are struggling with lower revenue, thanks to new regulation and a sputtering global economy. It also follows a series of disappointments for the bank. Earlier this year, Citi failed to pass a stress test meant to test a bank's capacity to withstand another shock to the financial system, and shareholders revolted against executive compensation. These were seen as blows to then-CEO Vikram Pandit. Earlier this year, he resigned suddenly amid reports he clashed with the board over strategy and management perspectives. I think the new CEO wanted to lay down a marker that he's not like Pandit, and uh, I think he, he's doing the right thing, in theory, for Citibank, but I, we are in a very tenuous moment in this country, heading into holiday season. A lot of people, I think, have been exhausted by the last, you know, four years. We're going to wake up in January and, and, and February and see that things are even worse then. The layoffs are certainly bad news for city employees, but shareholders reacted favorably. The day of the announcement, the stock closed up by more than 6%. Corina Huber, CCTV, New York.